like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It is the job of a music producer to not just make beats, so to speak, but to oversee and manage the recording of an artist's music. However, what this definition does not speak to is the hard work, passion. Just, just the, just the, what you can create, things that you can create, um, expressing what's on your mind through a universal language, something that everybody can relate to. Basically, being able to let people know what's on my mind without me saying much of anything, using words. I just started liking the trumpet and I learned how to play it. Started my ninth grade year, and that's about how many years? Oh, one, two, four. About nine years, ten years playing trumpet. I grew, you know, as far as my production is concerned. Um, building chords, rather, um, knowing what um, intervals were, knowing the different pitches, you know, knowing how I could put these rhythms together to create this awesome composition. Just a funny thing, I'm really trying to create my own genre of music, you know. People ask like, how can you create your own genre of music? I said, how are other genres create? You know, it's just done. So what I'm doing is like, not trying to recreate the wheel. Just gonna use things that's already there to kind of mesh them together and make a hybrid, you know, of, of, of different genres and make it one. I've worked with many labels before. I never stayed for some reason. I don't know. It's probably me. I don't know. But uh, I, I decided to create my own label um, and then have myself up under the label that I created. You know, it's um, called I Like That Records. It's a long story of why I named it that. But um, I, long story short, uh, I, every time I let somebody hear a song that I produce, I also want to say I like that. But the first concept of I like that production, the name in itself is so marketable to the point I was just like, man, it can only take off, you know, why wouldn't it take off? It is so marketable in itself and the sound carries, it's, it's more of a sensuous sound, but it's because it's heartfelt and the work put into it. It is actual logo, I created the logo, you know, I told him, I said, look, bro, if you're doing this, do it the right way. And one of my talents is the graphic design, so I might as well, you know, that's my bro and I want him to succeed. I think as a producer, he's most definitely artistic with his work. He thinks of things that I wouldn't wouldn't be able to think of myself. And that's how we both work together. Whatever he's good at, you know, I use him for his um, expertise. Vic is a great producer, man. That, that's a smart kid, man. Real great producer. He's more of a hands-on, I'm going to show you how to do this for the future. Um, more of a, look, this is what I'm doing right here. He makes sure everything A1. And as a person, being not only my homeboy and my producer, it's like it just blends in real good because we can joke, trip, and we still get music. Man, which we love. Well, I know Vic produces a lot of music. Um, people call me sometimes when I be in Atlanta and ask me to listen to his music about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes. He was very passionate about it. Whether he had me listening to 10 minute tracks, 30 minute tracks, he would just call me and I would listen to his music. He would be in the studio all night long for days sometimes just recording. And like I said, he was always very, very passionate about what he does. When he gets into a studio session, it's kind of like he commands that that level of respect and attention, but it's not so much to the point where it's the point, rather the point where it's arrogant, it comes off so calm and collected, and you can tell he's really inspired by by music in general and how he's creating the music to the point the feeling. It looked kinda like a look he gets in his eyes. That's not to say I look the man in his eyes when we doing music because that's you know that's crazy. But you know you can tell when somebody's passionate about what they're doing. Man. And once you see that, it kind of pushes and promotes you to, for one, be more passionate in your craft and in your art, and to really, you know, care about others and, and even help them pursue their, their careers and, and their goal to be whatever they may be, specifically in art. I say my motivators are my surrounding people. Um, I say my, especially my, first off, my mom, my dad. And then, you know, you got my, my family. And then you got the people, my, my homeboys, I do. Always around the, the, the characters, the characters, the characters.
Victor. I like that. Yeah, I like that.